What's up, guys? It's Paula. <laughs> and uh, I'm here with my girlfriend. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> but yeah, I got a package in today. <laughs> so I'm going to go open this up for you guys. See what's inside. So I ordered... <laughs> I ordered from this place called Ning Yoshi, and uh, it's an urban store located in San Francisco. We're about to go there on Sunday, see if I could get another one of what's in this box. Super excited. Not the one I really wanted, but whatever. I'm down to get this anyway. Here's um, packaging information. More tape, or more cardboard. And then here it is. World War Robot Portable is orange on it, meaning it's frosty, the winter bramble. And um, I'm going to open it up and show you. Alright, so I unshrink wrapped it, and uh, here it is. Uh, World War Robot Portable. Um, the P's right there is for portable. And um, these used to be 1 6 scale figures, but um, they scaled it down so it's 1 12th now. So for, cheap, for people who can't buy the 300 plus brambles uh, we got these $45 ones um, here's the back of it you see two brambles right here is all the signatures that like each one has um, I got this one frosty and um, inside you can open it up there's a little magnet right here and here's the bramble itself uh, very neat looking we got some artwork and um yeah i already opened this up but um all the accessories come in the back of it so i'll show you the guy that later but it looks very awesome in here so if you're an inbox collector it looked pretty cool on your shelf just you know displayed like this or whatever so uh time to open it up and show you guys what he looks all like. right so here he is out of the package um I didn't put all the accessories on him yet because um, I want to show you his articulation. It's kind of hard to do that with all the accessories on him. So, very cool looking. He looks heavy, but um, he's very light. He's made out of vinyl, I believe. So, uh, let's get into it. So, as for articulation, his head can go all the way around because it's on a ball joint. Um, he has two little eyes right there. But yeah, his head can look down like that, look up, and look all the way around. No hip movement, or actually, yeah, he does have hip movement. <laughs> but yeah, he has hip movement. He can't go all the way around though, I believe. His arm can go all the way around. Can go that far out, that far in. It can swivel right here. And they could bend like this. His hand has slight articulation. But what impressed me the most is his finger articulation. Because his fingers all have individual articulation. And look, look at that bend. That is a very good bend. You can make him go like okay or something. Or like flip people off. But... It's very cool that they that I, they gave it that much articulation on the fingers. Um, as far as I know, this is as much articulation um, on the one six scale brambles than as it is here. As for the legs, you can go up, back, bends at the knee, and his uh, foot is also on a ball joint, so you get some posability. So not that much posability on the legs, but um, it's a good amount. I mean, for a vinyl figure, it's very cool that um, they have this much articulation. So now, um, after showing you the articulation, I could show you with I could show you this bramble with everything on it. So uh, yeah, here. So here he is in all his glory with all the accessories on. Uh, very nice looking. I love the detail. It's probably the most detailed figure I have in my collection, I believe. Um, it just it plays off the look that it's like it's heavy, it's it's bulky, like it walks 
slow. <laughs> I don't know, but it's 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 a really light figure. I mean, it's probably like not much heavier than like like a like a mighty mug or something. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's very cool looking. Uh, here we have his Gatling gun, and you can see it has like frost on it but at the same time it has like rust and like dirt stains and stuff uh, he has an ammo belt and uh, just like P2 pointed out it's very flexible and loose so it's cool that um, it, it like it acts just like an ammo belt like it's it's not stiff it's loose and hangs down on the back of it here you see it says cold heart on it it's like we're wearing off like the the letters which is cool and um yeah i just i really like this figure um it feels like dirty but in like in a good way um here at the top you can see it has a snowflake on it which is it's i like that detail i mean um there are like five others or four others besides this one with this it'd be five but with this uh or each one has their own like motif like they have one that's called a euro bramble a marine bramble and um other ones and they all have different color schemes and different signs on them and decals and um the winter one i i really didn't think was going to be that good but in person it looks awesome it looks great um i just love the look the look of it and um yeah uh these pouches they're weathered like very weathered i mean they're like really stiff it looks like they just threw it in dirt and like it feels like that too like you can feel the like the paint that was on it um these pouches you could actually put stuff in there, which is cool. And, uh, yeah, I can't really say anything else about this figure. Just awesome. Um, let me give you a size comparison. Here he is with Spider Man Mighty Mug. So, a little taller than him. And, uh, who else can give you a good size comparison? Let's bring out Yatsuba here. See how big Yatsuba is compared to it. And uh, G.I. Joe Snake Eyes. I'm giving you guys a small comparison. So overall, he's a fairly good sized figure. He's about like 7 inches I'd say. And overall, he's just a very cool figure. I suggest picking one up if you can find it. These things are really hard to come by. Um, luckily, this is the last one I could find, and, um, I picked it up. Um, and, uh, just like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm actually going to San Francisco on Sunday. So hopefully I can, uh, find myself another one of these. If I do, I'll pick it up, um, maybe show it to you guys. But overall, very cool figure. Um, they're $45, kind of steep for a 7-inch, but... I'd say it's it's a must buy if you can um, get a hold of it. Your best bet right now is to check eBay or um, maybe Sideshow Toys. They this they have it on wait list right now. So overall, that's my review. Hope you guys liked it. And um, I keep forgetting to say this, but check out articulationtimes.com. They have a YouTube channel as well. You guys might have heard of it, but they also have a website too and it's it's newly made they um fixed it up and uh, some of our reviews actually made it onto um that website so i'll post the link in the sidebar over this way and um yeah i keep forgetting to say it but check it out it's a it's a really cool site and um i like i like his style because um he gives updates about a lot of figures so um Check it out, and uh, like I said, this is Paula from the Loose Joints, signing out, and um, once again, subscribe. <laughs> Alright guys, peace out.